I think there's some from, legs to this abrosion. You know from, from, from here on out, I think you should go sunny side up for breakfast. <laughs> 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 Look at those. She's a man, baby. Yeah, yeah, look at those fucking hands, dude. Like, did he say he was a pediatric gynecologist? Oncologist. Oh. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> there is nobody except for a, a masochist like us watching the day, you know? <laughs> Yeah, her dad said something like, 10 toes down, baby girl, you did a dime. Most people do some jail time. You know, I was like, who the yeah. fuck is this dude? Here at the Bronouns, we like to keep you on what's popping in the world of pop culture. And all I could say is, is this is finals week. Thank God. Uh, first up, you know what? Let's go ahead and get this shit out of the fucking toilet yeah, let's, and let's... just never talk about this show as long as we live. I feel like we did the most like jankiest shit at like 3 a.m. with like a handful of drunk borderline blackout friends and we all promised never to talk about it the next day. <laughs> And that is is watch She Hulk, bro. Holy <laughs> fuck me, dude. We pulled we pulled a I know what you did last She Hulk. I, I what part okay, do you, I'm what, what it, part do y'all want to start at first? Here's the beginning. I, I want to say something real quick, okay? I don't care at all what we do in the future. I don't care if you guys get invested in it and we can pull comedy. I am not subjecting myself to this shit again. If there's a season two. There we will should watch, never be a season two We will two watch of this. from afar because I can't. I took an optimist approach at this series, and and I maybe don't that's, think you did at all. I, actually, I, you came yeah, in I guns blazing. Yeah, I like. I liked. <laughs> I did not hate the first episode, and I didn't hate the second episode. I didn't hate that they were trying to inject a little bit of silliness into it. I really didn't. Doing that for the sake of just doing that to go, hoo, 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 this isn't a typical Marvel product. Like, you're chasing your own ass while you're already up it. I mean, the writer's room for She-Hulk had their heads so far up their own asses that, that... they actually put themselves in the ass. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Can, we, can we give a shout out to Jessica Gallo? Can we give a shout I'd out to that? I'd rather not. Bro? I'd rather not. <laughs> it, it took... Very, very light research into her bio to find out that this is her first project that she's ever done. And <clears throat> big, big, bold letters in her bio. It says, a hater of men. I am known for disliking men. I want them all dead. And I was like, if that was, you just change men to anything in this world, you're losing your job. <laughs> it's that fair and simple. First off, I could tell you hated men the very first episode. By the ninth episode, if we were playing a drinking game, I would get in my car and just get arrested for driving drunk and then state that you overserved me. That's how bad this It's so weird, was. though. It's so weird. Why would somebody that hates men portray their main actor as a hoe? Because they did. Like she was a like she was a hoe the whole We, we called it out. You give her like two two minutes of just like noticing that she exists and she's dropping her drawers. Yeah. That that's not that's not men hating. That's that's this is this yeah. no, you know what this is? This is a whole writing room, a whole set of, of men, women or whatever trying to it's a bunch of fucking incels trying to portray what they would think the ultimate you know badass would be well, we and saw would, the whole writing room in this episode one dude we, a bunch of if broads. we took if we really i think i said this the other night to y'all and i'm sure that I'm, I'm i'm on bisexual twitter and i'm about to be you know just crucified by the penis but Ain't if it. any i mean i'm into it but if <laughs> If a and I'm generalizing here, but I have to because if I need if I go into specifics, I might just choke some gamma radiation myself. But if 
Jennifer was a dude and she did half of the shit that she does in the series, production would have been shut down before the, the dailies were shown on this. They would have called her Bill Murray and then called like <laughs> The, Seth the, Green the, would have been crying about it. You know what I'm saying? They would have called like the the e gossip and been like, "This was the most toxic." But yeah. well, let's let's break it down. Let's break it down, boys. We're here. We've watched every episode. Oh. If you've followed along with our journey of uh, sadomasochism in this, then here's your payoff. Here it is. We we did it. Nine episodes, more like ninety episodes. It was fucking horrible. And we start off. With the repercussions of last episode of her just going beast mode. And she gets treated like the abomination, ankle monitored. And we get the fierce lawyer friends coming up. And just, they were like the Avengers with their authority when they walked up to her. And like, we got to do this, this. And they said, oh, no, no, no. No, you bitch. get to be Jen Walter <laughs> until where she looks at the camera and says, I know this is what I wanted, but I don't want this. And that's when I first wanted to bang my head against something really hard. Like I said, this show, it's this show. You know they just did right there. They admitted this whole post 2018 girl power situation we got going on. They're talking about wanting equality. This is a, no, you fucking don't. No. Like, you fucking don't. You want to be treated special because if we were all on the same equal footing ground, you'd get your shit pushed in at every turn. I think we've made the joke right now. If you if you let the greatest WNBA player in the NBA right now, she'd get her shit pushed straight in. Like you yeah, wanna dude. be you wanna be special, you wanna be elevated above everyone else, and you don't want to be criticized for it. You want all these special things, but you don't want to face the repercussions and the accountability that comes with it. You want to have the Hulk's powers and the Hulk's um, privilege, but you don't want to deal with the shit that the, the the isolation and the being told you can't do this. It, it's... I was... I, I don't know. I I know we haven't... We're not to this part yet to where she kind of fourth walls everything and... <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. go ahead. Let's get there. Let's go <clears throat> fast forward to where her fourth. So at some point, that's all she did at this. <laughs> yeah, at some <laughs> at some point, I tried to imagine. Okay, when they were writing this, did they did they realize how fucking retarded it was? They had to have. And then they just wrote in this whole fourth wall shit with the Feig and uh, the Kevin, you know, and and then or or did they initially write it like this? No, there's no fucking way. No, I think no the way. way the way this portrayed out is they probably wrote a six uh, story EP arc. I did read somewhere where the initial storyboard was supposed to be ongoing about whatever that bitch's name, the dude that fucking my boy Tim Roth, they neutered him or whatever. Uh, Abomination. Thank you. It was supposed to be an ongoing thing throughout the series, but the writers scrapped it because they all don't know how to write a, a law story. Yeah, They've that, admitted it. That makes it. sense. That makes sense. And, and so this was all of like just shit thrown together. This, <laughs> this was tough, man. So Jen <clears throat> can't be She-Hulk. And then she moves in with her parents, which is just, you know what? Have you how ever had this? to move back in with your parents? Have you ever had to do that? Were you fortunate enough to never have to? Nope, because I did. Yeah, and I mean, it wasn't we, that long. Yeah, when we came off a tour, I had to move back yeah. in with my parents. Yeah, I, see, I, mo- I moved I, back in with my dad right after my divorce for like yeah, four years. Okay. So there's a moment in life where you have to take the L and you you get your your footing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, <laughs> this was such horrible representation of that. Like yeah. they talk about how they want representation, but this was the dumbest shit ever. I can't stand the writing in the show. It's like, <laughs> well, the, here's here's my my favorite part about that. Even the writers, through Jen's actions, she's so fucking condescending to the most supportive people in her lives. Absolutely, like she's <laughs> she's, she's a like, narcissist. Like if you look through the whole series, like and just isolate Jen, she's a narcissist. If she's, you, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. If she had she had. Uh, June and Ward Cleaver as her parents, and 
Yeah, her dad yeah, said she... something like ten toes down, baby girl, you did a dime. Most people do some jail time. You know, I was like, who the yeah. fuck is this dude? Yeah, dad's <laughs> in the streets. Like he's chasing <laughs> off reporters with a water hose. Like well, it gets me, and then later on in the episode when she, you know, cracks the joke about the daddy issues, like Okay, yeah, all those guys that you just mentioned right there were either, like, orphaned or abandoned. So, yeah, that's why they have dad. You don't have mommy and daddy issues because you're a narcissistic prick. Yeah, you got great parents. Like, fuck As you. someone with daddy issues, fuck you, bitch. There you go, dope boy. <laughs> and like he said at the beginning of this episode, his testosterone levels are back to normal, oh, ladies back, and baby. gentlemen. I'm gambling. Look at levels. that. There you yeah. go, bro. No, no more yeast boy. Hello, dough boy is what we yeah. say, you know. If I if I if I come to, if I come to the show to, next week and and I'm crying, it's really just because I'm 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 overdosing on testosterone at that point, <laughs> and I've looked at my balls or something like that. Well, we gonna fucking wish I was looking at my own balls in this fucking show, but <laughs> let's journey forward. And so Jen gets this idea that she's gonna go kick it with the. Uh, the abominable snow, whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> and so she gets there and the most soylent green dude ever. Like, I don't even know who this dude is. Just greets that her with the, hugs. That was the one that she was, he was part of the wrecking crew. And he remember like in the yeah. second episode. Oh yeah. That forced fight. Like, How but what was really, that? it's funny. You mentioned that. What's so hilarious to me is there was, this show loves to portray a character changing without showing any of the of any of the progress being made. The most went, extreme changes too. Yeah, like it's, it's like, just like night and day change. It's like a week goes by and all of a sudden it, what it, is Emil Blonsky have a brainwashing machine because that that's the only thing that makes sense. And we yeah, introduce <laughs> we introduce all these characters for no fucking reason. Like they even know. I think I honestly think they storyboarded and wrote and created six episodes. And the Kevin bot looked at it and said, "Oh, this is garbage. We need to make fun of it. Like we need to. We need. Well, we need. Get, we that's what I'm saying. Gonna, that's what I'm saying. Like, they, they, we're, yeah, we're gonna get to Kevin bot. Yeah. Actually, we're, we'll just go. We're, we're about to be there. Yes, I agree. We're about to be there because she high tells it <laughs> to. The Abominations Ranch, and oh my god, this is where it gets really hard to watch. So the Abominations we, Ranch, that sounds like a, like a, like this, like a cat house of mutant women, you know, like, like, <laughs> like like a, like a, like a, like a whorehouse on the Adams Family Plantation. <laughs> oh, man. So so Tweedledee and Tweedledum are going to infiltrate the the website. That, oh, at this point, it's the, taking uh, all intelligentsia. I have. The intelligence. It's taken yeah. all that I have to watch this. And the only reason why I watch this because I was a Sado since fucking the 80s, baby. And I do this for y'all, Bro Nation. I, we really do. I and really love their really, I really fucking love hard. Their, their, their red herring that they went, you know, everyone thought that the leader was coming back. They thought that Samuel Stearns was finally going to appear after a 14 years. And he was going to be, because he is, the leader is the head of the intelligentsia. But uh, nope. It was that fucking douchebag. <laughs> fucking not, guy. Not Josh, not Mr. Perfect Josh, but the, the guy that had the She-Hulk fetish. It, yeah, his name's Todd. Listen, at this, Todd, thank you. At this yeah. point, they found out Todd's head of intelligentsia. And so all of a sudden, She-Hulk shows up at this I Hate She-Hulk rally because it's held on the Abominable Dude's Ranch. And then he's like guest speaking, but he's not supposed to turn into the big green pussy. And then so it just it gets so stacked of you. You're as watching it, you're lost. You're like, what the fuck am I watching? It feels so out of place. It's so weird that She Hulk calls a timeout on her own show. And this is where Ooh. this is where it gets to the worst show. This is by far the worst writing ever. This Jessica Gal. I, I hope you really don't get another shot. Like you, you had a wide open layup and you threw it into the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't even come close to missing the shot. You Some deliberately of the... missed the shot. Like it was just the most offensive. It, it was ridiculous. As a superhero fan, 
This episode and the bullshit that I read at Marvel makes me never want to touch anything Marvel ever again. The One of the most hacky moves, especially in comic book stories, and it's been done a lot. It's been done by really great creators, one of them being one of my absolute favorites, Grant Morrison. He wrote himself as a character into his Animal Man, man run. And at the time, it was this revolutionary, groundbreaking meta, 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 meta. And everything's got to be meta these days. As great as Grant Morrison is, as great as John Byrne is, it is a hacky, tacky, stupid move. You it, Did Neil Gaiman do it in that Spider-Man comic we, we covered? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he did it too. Of. Exactly. And it was so hacky. Uh, it, it, that was a little bit more of a, like a love letter to it, but it still just reeked of of self nepotism what is the word for that Bad, that's a good one that's perfect uh, cs at this point she says some bullshit and the disney icons popped up and i oh. it took all i had not to just turn this off and say this is actually a great time to turn this off this is the point where i was like okay well did they realize how fucked up it was and they just rewrote the shit and then they were like oh you know what's gonna be funny is if we look like we put it back to the Disney menu. Oh, that would be, be sick. It's so fucking cool. I like how they... And it's an epic over fail, the course the of this, <laughs> It's an epic fail, by the way. I like how they even tried to make fun... Like, they didn't even know... They don't even know us, and they tried to make fun of the bro nation because all the intelligentsia dudes were like, Come at me, bro! Come at me, bro! Let's did fucking see that. go! I did see that. I did see that. <laughs> we need... The, that fucking statement needs to be banned from existence. Let's fucking go. I'm, I'm fucking over it. You're done with Little John and the East Side Boys, bro. <laughs> yes, they've Damn. unleashed a monster on this world. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, oh man. No, that, I fucking hate this show so much. I, it's really. It takes a lot to. It takes a lot out of you. I'm glad that it was only nine episodes. I wish it would have been four. If they would have cut it off after Wong getting in them cheeks with that chick that turns out to be Mephisto, because I'm going to tell you right now, people, my boy Doughboy, he's knocking shit out the park left and right. He's calling shit in every show we see. My boy CS called this shit a mile away. He said, Josh ain't nothing but a little bitch. Turns out, Josh ain't nothing but a little bitch. We never saw him yeah, again, actually. never saw him again. Never saw like, him again. Like, that dude actually... Take notes from him on how to ghost. You ghost so hard that you just leave the whole show. <laughs> you, you go. You ghost so hard you cease to exist. You ghost so hard that Kanye and fucking Jay Z make a song about it called "Ghost So Hard." <laughs> ghost so hard. I was about to say ghosts in Paris. <laughs> so all right. So the. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> So the Disney menu pops up. She busts out the little, uh, little She Hulk menu. <sighs> kind of goes down to the, to what the Avengers assembled. No, no, she goes. She songs, goes, huh? No, she goes to the assembled, the yeah. making of She Hulk. Like she goes to her oh. the own her own documentary. Uh, dude, I thought she jumped in Shang Chi's shit, and no. I was like, "Yo, get you some of that Wang Burger, bro." <laughs> 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 no, she went. She went into the the her own documentary. I was looking at the uh, on that website of Jessica Gal, and <laughs> it was like you know after you scroll past how she hates men, and she's just so open and outright about hating men. You scroll down, and it says height five three and a half, and I was like, well, people that use a half are very immature. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's, it, and you could tell. My my, I can confirm that my girlfriend says she's five one and a half. I'm like, Bitch. Well, you know what I'm saying? It, <laughs> just you know what? Either either give yourself the half of inch or don't. Don't fucking like. I'm sorry, but if you tell me that you're five <laughs> one and a half, half inches, a lot, ladies. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That if we're talking about that, then yeah, half inch. I'll, I'll fucking say you know, three and a half inches. Cool. <laughs> to me, that's immature too. Just go ahead and give yourself that half inch. There's no yeah. point in this world where you should end it at a point five. Is all I'm yeah, gonna say. You can, you know what? On especially on that area, you know, you can always get on your tiptoes. You know, 
Yeah. You, you want that extra <laughs> half inch? It's just, it's little things like that that I notice in this world. And when I saw that, I said, oh, just reading her bio, I can understand why I watched what I watched. Am I a better person by it? No, by I no mean. Her propaganda throughout this series had no betterment of watching it. All it was was just for her to spew out just bullshit that had... Uh, there was nothing, no character building, no character arc. There was absolutely look. Let's 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 move to the to the, uh, the to the Kevin bot. Yeah. So this is the part where she talks to the writers and she finds Kevin and she's She Hulk. And the first thing Kevin bot says is, "Hold the fuck up, bitch! You old green ass Shrek looking hoe. You better fucking turn <laughs> into that normal bitch because that shit's expensive. How is that expensive? Do that shit off camera though." Yeah, like, how is that expensive, like, when it looks so bad? It, you're not fucking breaking the bank. You're not pulling the rings of powers, you know what I'm saying? Like, there is money laundering going on in Disney, and they're hiding it in their TV series because there is no <laughs> way that that special effects cost more than three ninety nine, bro. I've seen Dollar General special effects, and this reeked of it, bro. You know, uh, I think me and Doughboy talked about this. Bo Burnham said it the best. He's like, being self-aware does not absolve you from being an asshole. That is so true. And yep. this whole episode was just about the writers being self-aware and, and trying it to... It was one long... Mas- yeah, it was a masturbation episode is what it was. Yeah. God, could you imagine? Ugh. Ropes, bro. <laughs> Oh, gross. She's like sitting there jacking her dick going, I'm the greatest Hulk ever, so my ropes yeah. go twice as long. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> here's some of that She-Hulk nectar. So wow. here's the part where I just rolled my eyes so hard that I thought I was going to be cross-eyed forever. Like, I really got scared. I had to slap the shit out of myself because I was looking <laughs> in two directions like a gecko. And she was like, she was like, yo, Kevin. I smash, I'm a Hulk. And then she looks at the camera and says, sometimes I smash Mac Murdoch. And I said, you killed my boy. You done killed my boy. You, you fucking buried him. Like, yeah. It's bad that's enough what, that you demasculated him and took his mask off and then fucking tickled his fucking little taint there and said, oh, you're my little pet, my little pet devil. Like, that was bad enough. But when you turn to the camera and say that you smash Hulk and then you sometimes smash Matt Murdock. Yeah, the exact quote was, that's what Hulks do. Hulk smash and sometimes Matt Murdock. <laughs> Dude, like, turn the tables one time. Turn the tables one for fucking a guy time. fucking saying that about a girl. Yeah. Oh, shit, they would have topless bitches okay, let's all do it. over fucking Hulk world. smash and then, sometimes that dirty bitch Jen. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? They would have fucking lost their... They'd be throwing... They'd be throwing uh, Use tomatoes. They'd be throwing tomato soup on Marvel posters around the nations. Oh, we didn't even talk about that in the intro, man. Those <laughs> oh, crazy I, ass activists. I, I, <laughs> I definitely want to. Those start. people, those people liked She Hulk. Oh, they loved it. You the, know, what the saying? one girl that I saw on that protest had pink hair. I, I know she's got a she's got a Jen Walters tattoo. Dude, she twerked on that with with Megan the Stallion and She Hulk. Well, she in scene, but she, she was rolled her, her back. back. Yeah, she was. <laughs> she rolled you her know, back. We actually got to see a little bit of that when we went out last night. Yo, shout out to all you old white women that move your back, <laughs> thinking you're shaking that ass. My God, the it's, one white woman on the dance floor during yo, the Bad Bunny concert. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo, you're the Jen Walters of the bar. Just know that. Can can we even say that? Like, okay, pay Jen Walters two minutes of just like, "Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, word, go. You got a fat (laughs) ass in that jumpsuit. You're going to get in them guts, all right? So you're already in them guts. And then you ghost her, and then she blames herself. She has such low self. How will you ever be a superhero with the self-esteem she has? I will never understand. You know, 23-year-old Chris would have been pulling some mad game on Jennifer Walters. That was my jam back in the day. Bro, I would fucking get my dick sucked and then never talk to her ever again. There's like, no it would have been so easy. Yeah, there's no game to be had. Like You just walk up yeah. and like, hey, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> she's a... She's a... She's a... Uh, She's a bunt is what she is. Yeah, she's a bunt. You're just moving the bases on her, man. It's all good. So she gets to go in and talk to the 
<laughs> God damn it. The Kevin by and the Kevin no, is an acronym for some bullshit that I didn't what, want to remember and what really got me about that was is that leading up to it, like I saw where they were going and I said, if they put Kevin Feige in this fucking episode, I'm no, I'm not gonna You know I'm what they should have did? They should have grabbed Kevin Federline. That way it would at least made a little <laughs> more sense. Cause what I'm the fuck, it. man? I'm for it. That you know, would have made like, more like, sense. It I mean, what the just go get Britney Spears' ex husband to tell you how to run this show. And I would have been like, Oh, okay, well I get it now. We'll just throw in some Ariana Grandes and but what, what got me was as as bad as I thought that was, somehow them doing a joke about it being an algorithm, but still I think I said it to CS the other day. This is what this was basically what they the my my impression of the writers' room. Okay, so the robot's name is Kevin. That's a joke. You get it? That's a joke. Because <laughs> everybody knows it's Kevin. <laughs> well, you, well, you know Spizzy's bold prediction of the year. That's going to be Crystal Federline by the end of the year, and she's going to win Woman of the Year. So. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> even Federline, even Federline's looking at the script, going, "What in the fuck is this?" And that says a lot. Wait, Kevin Federline's a Marvel executive? I mean, he might as well be. So Jen Walters is telling this robot how to run her own show, and then they delete Hulk, they delete the Abominable, they delete uh, the fucking the Chet. Of the episode or whatever the fuck his name was, he got her blood and he came into a. They, it was ridiculous. They got rid of that. They got rid of everything and then they flashed. So here's 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 my biggest pet peeve of this whole fucking episode. This pissed me off more than it probably ever should. There's a lot going on in this episode that should have pissed me off that did piss me off, but this is the one that pissed me off. She's not supposed to be a She-Hulk ever again, correct? Yep. Am I correct with that? Correct? Yep. We, we established that in the story, right? She flashes back as She-Hulk walking up to the police, giving her the abominable dudes that turned into the abominable dude, and that's why he's going to jail, but she's cool? Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, I guess, oh, well, you could explain that away. Well, she just, like, she just wrote that out. Like, she wrote that she, out. She, like, sh she saved the day, and so she yeah. should be in her pure glory. Yeah. Let me tell you something. This is the most lazy writing ever. They killed so many characters. You might as well just go ahead and just chop off Daredevil's dick and call him fucking Share Devil. You know what I'm saying? And just, <laughs> I mean, like a little, get, a little pop in sequence, like because she said so. Yeah, it, thank you, CS. Because you know we could play y'all's game and sit here and cry and bitch about everything. No, no, no. That, thank that God a, this is over. She's fully self aware that she's in a television show. And we're dealing, we're starting to deal with things like multiversal concepts and all of that. Is she a god? Like, why not. is why is it that she is is the Kevin bot some sort of like Ultron intelligence that runs this? There's just so many questions that don't have answers that don't need to be asked that this brings up that just completely it breaks the entire Marvel universe it, for the sake of. Not being like every other project. But thankfully, at the very end of all this, they all die. Nothing got resolved. You, yeah, my favorite no. part, if I can say my favorite part is, is when the fucking robot punked her out and said, yo, you got a movie. Psych. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please. Please, Marvel. Please. No, no movie. Oh, my God. You one, of my friends, one of my friends said something to the degree of, I hated everything about it, but I did like how she like mentioned the X Men. I was like, that was one of the cheapest fucking things about it. They're trying to get this extra little bit of heat, like, oh, cool, she's she's in the know. When are she's... we gonna see some X Men? Yeah, that no, was horrible. Yeah, mm -hmm. when are we gonna see you? Never, Doughboy. What do you what do you give? You know what? What do you give this episode? And what do you give this series all around? I'll tie this all together. I give this one big blown out green asshole. Yeah. Just gross. I, give, I, I give this a Adriana Chechik butthole. Yo, <laughs> paralyzed butthole for the win. CS, how are you going to top a paralyzed butthole for a fucking review? I would rather uh, lick a bloody tampon 
didn't have to watch this series ever. Again. Well, that would be very that would be very woke of you. Like so fresh, you're, you're courageous. Like, like fresh or sun dried yeah. tampon? No, no, no. Like pulled out. Who are we pulling it out of? Uh, Linda Perry. No, how about the Adrian, writer? Adrian, oh, oh my God, uh, Jessica Gao. Jessica Gao. Jessica, Jessica Gao has used tampon uh, after she scissored with her best friend until she found clarity. I was yeah. going to say Adriana's paralyzed vagina. Mm. Shout out to Adriana par- paralyzed vagina. I mean, we love you at the bro now, and we hope for a speedy recovery for yeah. real. Yeah. that's And also, you know, save, sex. Your, save your tampons. <laughs> okay, so you well, want it now? <laughs> like that's, that's a difference has changed. I, I, you know, you know how what? to? I, I well, you know, NCS. Do you know how to eat a vegetable? You take it out of its wheelchair first. All right. Wow. <laughs> I don't hide my wow, kinks. Wow. I don't have my kinks anymore. I'm beyond yeah. that. Oh man. Wait. Your wait. Up, up until recently, you weren't. You were hiding <laughs> your kinks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, yes. If that's hiding your kinks, then oh my god. Like, oh my god. Hide your every hide your cl- paraplegics. <laughs> every closet in CS's house is taken off the hinges. There's no in closeted there. You know. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I give this. I give this the intro to that blonde movie. Just a rolling clip of Plan B. And cut this shit off and let's just go ahead and just get the dancing Kevin fucking CGI aborted fetus in the garden scene and call it a wraps. Bro Nation, I wish you would have just if you need reference, go to our blonde review. <laughs> because I don't really know what I mean. You know what? Blonde, She Hulk, there is no difference. It's both garbage, it's both crap. And um, yeah, that that that's what your boy CS got to um, your boy Spizzy got to say. She Hulk and Blonde both full of abortions. Yeah. It's like buy one scrape get three free. You know, saying it's like some <laughs> like, happy hours in New Orleans. You know. Oh my God! Do, wait, do you think should we start our own <laughs> our own abortion clinic? A brush. <laughs> you know what it would be. And we, we could have we could have a, like a a, a a a a frequent customers card. If I had an abortion clinic, I would tell every woman that came in that I loved her, and that I support <laughs> her right for whatever she wanted to do. Yeah. Because I'm at the at the end of the day, that's what I do. Like I'm pro woman. Like I love women. You know what I'm saying? Can, like I would say. Your dad may not love you, but I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you really want to fucking have scrambled eggs? Hey, <laughs> hey, and like, and like Jay said back in the day on Dogma, you know, you hang out at an abortion clinic clinic because you know you're gonna meet loose women. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think there's some legs to this abortion clinic. You know, from 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 here on out, I think you should go sunny side up for breakfast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm trying to stay positive. <laughs> well, everybody, it was nice knowing you. Uh... <laughs> Listen, people, like I said before, I'll say it again. They're all jokes. They're not dicks. Don't take them so hard. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what platform is going to host all this shit, but uh, let's, let's, we're going to be willing to find out. Yeah. What, and, uh, what and social is- I think uh, what, what, what's what's that social media platform that Trump's running? I think we're gonna be big on there. Oh, hey, shout out to grabbing him by the pussy, right? While we're oh, yeah. at it. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to say that Trump's a narcissist piece of shit. But hey, if I had a dollar for everyone who called me a libtard or a fascist Republican, I'd have a very weird way of making money. First and foremost, but second <laughs> of all, it, it, it whoever's in charge. I'm usually speaking out about against them, you know, because left wing, right wing, same fucking bird. But that's for a whole nother TED talk. And thank you for coming. Uh, anything else you want to say about Shemail before we wrap this fucking holy diver and throw it no. into the river and call it I a want, fucking day? I want this over. I want this out of my brain. Can't wait for Willow. <laughs> Yo, can't wait it. for Willow. And you know what? <laughs> I'm going to give my boy Doughboy some props, but I already kind of knew about this shit. But um, we will probably pick up on episode one and two of Chainsaw Man just to hold us over until we get to some more shows to review. We are the misfits of pop culture. And what better misfit than a motherfucker with chainsaws for a face and arms? Spoiler alert. 
I watched episode one and fucking loved it. So we got that going for us. Let's go. <laughs> what is up, Bro Now Nation? This is CS. E O U G H B O Y. And Spinzy. Look, keep up with us because one of us has slept with your mom before. And you just listened to some clips brought to you by the Bro Nouns Podcast. Tune in weekly and catch all the shenanigans and tomfuckery that we're bound to bring you.